Food and wine, food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. We're attempting to go to the last day of food and wine 2017, but Will we there's, get in? There's only two hours and ten minutes left of the park and we're stuck out here by the parking lot. Look at this. It's wild. It is so wild. After a whole hour, we finally got out of the car. <laughs> no. no, it was like five more minutes. But you can see the cars, the line's still back there. We actually went to like the last row and turned and looked for a spot rather than going all the way down to the tenants. Don't know if that's against the rules or not, but we'll we gotta get fire. ourselves to our food and wine tonight. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. It is kind of chilly. We've got three booths. I repeat, three booths to try: the wine studio, Mexico. And Joffrey's. There she blows. She's looking a little blue today. Sarah, why is Spaceship Earth looking a little blue today? Everything's over. Because food and wine is over. In two hours! How much so food? Sad. I wish it was just. I mean, I guess that's what makes it so special. But there's a festival, a Christmas festival. Followed by the Festival of the Arts, then followed by the Festival of so Flower and Garden. So basically, we're still in festival mode until like, what, May or June? June, and then like, how long does it take for them to like, make a summer festival? I hope it's this year they, do, they debut at Secret Imagineer Secrets that we're making up right now. All right. Perfect for pairing. Create a cheese plate. Please enter here the beginning of the end we are at wine studio I have no idea what kind of wine I'm gonna get but I'm gonna get a good one right yes you sad yet I'm trying to count from our YouTube channel how many days we've come that's the issue that we realized that we just make playlists down to the like categories so, like we only put our videos into Walt Disney World or like Universal Sea World or whatever but we didn't go into the parks like break those down in the parks so we actually have to count these rather than look at the playlists. Sarah will figure it out. Do a dance in front of the monorail. Now whip. Here's my red blend. What is it called? Let me find it. Nine bucks, everybody. So food and wine. If you ever wondered why we don't get alcohol at food and wine. I bring a flask in. I'm just joking. <laughs> I really don't. I gotta find the spot because I gotta get the sticker. Here's the sticker. Prove it. Prove it. Okay, it should be on this next page. The suspense bada is building. Bing, bada there boom. it is. So this was the Eden Canyon Jolie Red Blend from California. Two more stands left out of the whole book. Wow. Cheers to food and wine. Don't drink the whole thing at once so I can get a photo of you. Really good. So what's the verdict? This is a passion readout from one of the Joffrey stands right at the front of the lagoon. It was like 1050, I think, with a single shot of tequila in it. Um, it's really good. It tastes like mango. It's passion fruit, though. Oh, yeah, it tastes like passion fruit. Okay, but well, guys, look. This is literally. This is Remember the, this is, yeah. two days ago? Oh my god, look how short this line is. When the line was all the way down there. I fully thought with the song, like looking at the, the parking lot today, that the lines would be ridiculous. They're busy, but not like. Look at this. Not like ridiculous. Like this is our last work. one. Yeah, because this was our second to last one. We just knocked out all three that we needed. <laughs> right in a row. Okay. Kind of still full for dinner. But I guess that was the point that we weren't like starving. So this is the ribeye taco. What was it? Six bucks? Seven $6 bucks? Six seventy-five. This is the last official item that we're gonna try from all the booths. After Sarah takes that bite, we've officially tried something from each booth during Food and Wine 2017. Oh my god! On the count of three, everybody cheer! One, two. You, you have to you have to chew on three. One, two, three. Woo! Is it good? I really like the sauce. It's nothing like revolutionary, but it's good. We kind of, oh, I forgot the margarita stand over there is open. The new quick service margarita you bar. Got margarita I got a, I got a margarita right here. We realized that we kind of messed up a little part of food and wine. So what we realized is like, so as you know, Sarah doesn't drink alcohol. Um, so, and some of the things like Mexico, not, we really like Mexico, but it's like it's here year round. 
So we like always like took precedent, like all the other stuff took precedent. Places that only exclusively had alcohol, we didn't go to really. Like there wasn't a drive to go to them because it's also expensive to, to drink alcohol here. And we wouldn't be sharing. And we wouldn't be sharing. And then everything else is like, we're more enticed to go see like Panagodia than Mexico. So it was funny that like, tonight's our last night of trying all like the last, last tries. And it was two alcoholic drinks and a taco from Mexico, which we I think we can get the ribeye taco uh -huh. throughout the year. So it's kind of like lackluster, but still awesome because now yeah. we now awesome. we've done everything. It's the first time we've ever. And then the rest of the night we can. This is the fourth or fifth fourth year of food and wine that we've gone to, and now we finally did all thirty or we counted all forty stamps. High five. Goodbye, Italy. Your fish food was delicious. Yeah. Germany, I'll see you next time. You're staying here. Africa, you were one of my top fives, and you had one of the best cast members dancing the whole time. China, you are day one, and we'll see you next week when we're back, because you're staying here too. Thanks. Greek nachos, you broke my heart because I can't have you the rest of the year. There goes the monorail. That's last trip to food and wine. Here's the cheese studio. We hung out with Mrs. Clements here. We hung out with Mrs. Clements here. I got the cheese tray. Emma, did you like it? Yeah, because it, it was like somewhat sweet and somewhat savory. Well, let's go this way. The chocolate, we actually, we sort of double dipped at the chocolate because Chelsea got it and we then shared. But it was the nitro. Oh yeah, the nitro um, coffee. And remember that sweet cast member? Um, showed like did like a little she did like a little tutorial on how to make the liquid nitrogen truffle it's established in 2016 i hope you're back next year next eats you were pretty cool for the first time this year i think that it's closed off over there but yeah, we, got we had magical moment there. Act, active eats with a magical moment with the free dessert that i didn't know was a tortilla the avocado. and then coastal eats which we just recently had which was super good that was probably so a top good. favorite of this year so, that's Wait, like, the flavors of the fire. It's, it's closed off over there. <laughs> that's all we could say bye to. We uh, had a little lapse in time there because we were hanging out with, with some of our friends that were visiting. Um, oh, it's we always, were talking about them yesterday, the Currys, Jordan and Robert. Oh yeah, Robert. Jordan and Robert and their family were here. So we were hanging out with them. Thank you for spending time with us. And yeah. it was great meeting you guys and hanging out with you, so. It's nice because like people are on vacation. Like this is time out of their Yeah, I, I'm very grateful that people want to hang out with us, but it just, it's very humbling for us, for people, like Sarah just said, to take time away from their vacation. They're on vacation. This could be their only day in Epcot. Yeah. And They're sometimes people want to talk with us. So, we really enjoy their company, and they're going to be back in January, and we'll probably see them again, so. And, if there's anything that would make it okay that food and wine is ending, is that right there? Let me zoom in. If anything would make food and one ending okay, it's that there is Christmas showing up at Epcot now. There's a delay coming to this park because of food and wine, but it is it is slowly growing. Well, this was a surprise, isn't it, everybody? Look at these decorations. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are we here? It's late. Epcot's over. Food and wine's done. We're meeting up with our friends. We are meeting up with two other of our friends that we met the other day at the park who are here visiting and they go home tomorrow and because of their vacation time and our busy schedule, we hadn't get a chance to hang out with them again. And that's really sad because we really thought that we'd get a chance to say, spend park time or resort time with them. Look at this. We're, so we're at Old Key West because this is where they're staying. And so we're gonna grab a quick drink with them and hang out with them for a little bit before they go home tomorrow. Well, that's why we're here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a legit. This is a full on Christmas tree. It's all Key West themed. It's all Key West themed. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. How cute. So sweet. Look at, I didn't realize that they do all these decorations. Me neither. The gurgling suitcase, libations and spirits. Going to WDW. 
As we snuck into uh, Olivia's because it's closed, there's one family eating still. Right below the wheel is this photo right there. There is Sarah's family. There's Sarah right there in blue. How adorable. So many times we've stood right out there looking in towards the camera, but it's right there, almost in the center. If you ever want to come by, say hi to Sarah. She's right there. Let's go get some lava smoothies. We're home. Well, we parked in our apartment, but we're walking home. It is l far later than we realized. <laughs> but that's what you. That's what happens when you have fun and you're talking to uh, new friends that are like so on the same page. So on the same page, like kindred kindred spirits. Yeah. So. No, it was nice. We love a good lava smoothie. We love a good lava smoothie. We love and sitting around. Company resorts with a good company but we're gonna sign off outside now because i'm hoping eve is asleep and i don't want to make as least amount of noise as possible to she's get in gonna there wake up. i know she's gonna wake up but if we are calm cool and collected she'll stay sleepy so then we'll open the door to our bedroom we'll open the door to our bedroom and she's got this blanket that she curls up like a little cute curl ball and hopefully she'll just trot in there and go to sleep so thank you for following along Food Eve and wine. Eve gets her sutras out tomorrow. Eve gets her sutras out tomorrow. For when you're watching this, so. Food and wine, 2017. Officially one over. One more time, Peter. All right, one last time. Food, food and wine, wine food and wine. wine. Everybody it's loves good. food and wine. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.